In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create an infographic using Google Drive and Google Slides. So let's begin by going into your Google Drive, choosing New and Google Slides. And I'm just going to choose a blank presentation. First thing we're going to do is get rid of what's already there. So I'm just going to click on it so that I can select the blue line around and hit the Delete key on my keyboard. All right, so now I have a nice clean slide. Let's give it a title. The next thing we want to do is get our page set up correctly. Under File, we're going to choose Page Setup. Now you'll need to know what type of infographic you're creating. If we're creating one for print, we're going to choose Custom and we'll choose either 8.5 by 11 or 8.5 by 14 if you're using legal paper. Whatever size you choose, it has to be based on the paper size that you'll use to print it. 11 by 17, 8.5 by 11, and 8.5 by 14 are the most common sizes that we have in our printers. Now, if you're doing this for web, you don't want to use inches. Instead, you want to use pixels. So from the inches drop-down, I'm going to choose pixels. And I'm going to make it 600 pixels wide. And you don't want to go any more than 1800. But I'm just going to choose 1000 because that seems to give me the space I need. And apply. And now you'll see I have a long portrait-based page setup instead of the standard landscape that you normally see in Google Slides. The last thing I want to do is we're going to mark off and do our page layout. So normally in an infographic you have a title, a little bit of an introduction, all of your data is taking up the grand portion of the center, and then a small conclusion at the bottom. So you can use these markers to help you set this up. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're seeing these rulers here at the top and on the side. And if you're not, go under View and just click Show Rulers. So I want the beginning, I want my title to sort of be up in here at the top. So let me switch back to my select arrow, put that mouse in the inside the ruler itself, click and drag, and you see that I'm dragging a line down. So I'm going to allow one and a half inches for my title. Now it automatically snapped a center line for me and it snapped another guideline for me. We can move these around and I can move them by just taking my mouse and sort of putting it over the line. See how it changes? And now I can grab it and drag it down. All right, so I'm going to give myself about an inch and a half at the top and an inch and a half at the bottom. And this middle part will be both my data and my introduction. Let's zoom out so we can get a better view. I'm just going to come up here to the zoom icon and choose fit. And now I can see better what I'm working with. Let's say I want a little introduction to be maybe this much of my data. So that gives me my four sections. You can certainly have more than four sections. Whatever works for you, these are not required. They're just a nice way when you've zoomed in to stay sort of in the proper location. 